Hey, what's up everybody? It's Levi Ellis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to Crypto 101 with the famous DJ. So these series are intended for people that are new to cryptocurrency and want to understand all the basics. So last time I gave a recommendation for a wallet to use. But whenever it comes to larger amounts, you should never store it in a wallet that is connected to the internet. For larger amounts, you want to keep it free against hackers. So therefore, I would recommend to keep larger amounts either in a hardware wallet like Trezor or Trezor, I don't know how to pronounce it, KeepKey or Ledger. And the other option is to create a cold storage paper wallet. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how to create a cold storage paper wallet for Bitcoin, Dash and other altcoins. For Monero, I'm going to make another video for that. So let's go! There are different websites where you can create a paper wallet. Dash, for instance, has their own website, paper.dash.org. For Bitcoin, one of the recommended websites is bitaddress.org. But my preference goes to walletgenerator.net. And the reason for that is that you can create multiple paper wallets. So if you scroll down, you can see the most popular coins are included. Dash is included. Bitcoin is included, but also coins like Dogecoin and Litecoin. For coins like Ethereum and Monero, I'm going to make a separate video on that, because that goes a little bit differently. So before you move forward, do not ever generate a paper wallet via the website itself because it can be vulnerable for someone to inject some javascript that will leak the private key. So what you should do is download the zip file here from this link, unzip the file on your computer and open the index.html file. I would recommend not to open this in Safari because it's not giving all the options that you desire and if you are using Internet Explorer, also not all functionalities are working as expected. So whenever you have downloaded the file and you have opened the index.html file and you open it in Chrome, before you do that, ensure that you have no connection to the internet whatsoever. So you should unplug your UTP cable if you are using a direct line or you should turn off your Wi-Fi. Whenever you have done that, you can generate your address. So the way it goes is very easy. You just need to ho hover with your mouse randomly whenever you, wherever you want to go. If you want to create more randomness, you can put some characters in here and you see this counter counting down. And whenever it has count down to zero, ta-da! Your paper wallet is generated. So this is the address where you should send your coins to. And this is the address which you should keep for yourself, never share it with someone and ensure that you never lose it because whenever it's lost you can never get back to your coins again. It happened to me. This way I've lost 3 bitcoins but also I've lost 80 moneros one time. So be very safe with that. So the nice thing is you can just print it out but you can also print it out like this. So if you, whenever you click on paper wallet, you can print it out like this and you can fold it and you can just put it in your wallet. But I would recommend to keep it somewhere safe, print it multiple times just to be sure that whenever you lose, lose one, you still have a backup. And please be sure only the public address need to be shared and not the private address. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful, thanks again for watching, see you next time, peace out!